Oh, hello there, guys. This is Chris at Folly Models, my factory 62. This is the, well, what I call a pre reveal video for the Airfix, the 1974 Airfix Supermarine Spitfire, the tropical version, Mark 5C, um, 172 scale. Did I say that already? Oh, well, I'm saying it again. Um, yeah. Really pleased with this build so far. Um, I say it's pre-reveal because basically the canopy's not ready. Um, the canopy didn't actually fit and it was the only part of this kit that didn't fit. And I think that was possibly down to my own error. The uh, the, the equipment behind the, uh, the pilot seating, behind the, uh, the crew seat here, was too high so I had to cut that off and uh, repaint it but apart from that now the canopy basically fits on so I've just got to repaint got to do some painting on the canopy uh, and the kit you know the kit went together like a peach it really did fit like a glove for such an old kit there was not one part that, that caused a problem out of all the builds I've made, made so far, which uh, granted is not that many, but this is the one that went together the smoothest. Like I say, every part fitted. There were no fit issues, apart from a slight bit of filling um, in these areas here, where you had the optional, this optional wing section uh, with the uh, increased panel line definition, as you can see on there. So apart from a few sanding issues I had here, I've got to uh, just add a few more panel washes here. And then uh, she's ready to go. I say once the canopy's on. So there were no problems at all with this kit. Lovely little build, really enjoyed making it as a, not exactly a distraction, but kind of like relief from the Victor kit that I've got. Not necessarily bogged down in, but it's become quite a lot of physical graft on that thing to get to get her into shape. So the Victor's not going to be ready until that Victor B1 version. That's not going to be ready until um, next year. But that's the way it is. Um, all I really added to to this kit was um, I put some safety harnesses in there out of a nice soft metal, which I've cut and then painted and uh, put in there plus a few details on the the pilot's control console which you might not really be able to see there but I'm going to make a, another video with uh, photographs final reveal photographs to go alongside this a bit later on yeah no the only the only problem I did have if there if there really was a, a problem it's the, this old issue with uh, old decals and there was some silvering on the decals the main ones the main roundels they seated in nicely with some uh, Johnson's clear over them they've worked well and then with some weathering it's actually smoothed out some of the silvering I mean along these sort of um, decal panel line here which actually started to crumble a bit but that's not a big issue really uh, you can actually see a slight silvering along there but really that that's 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 all I was kind of lucky with the with the decals it's a nice view of that lady there so I was lucky I was lucky with the decals yeah most of them were, were okay and uh, it's to be expected with a kit of this vintage you know of that age So apart from, I mean, I know that that kind of silvering would bother some people. Me, it's pretty negligent. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty limited. I don't mean negligent as in, I was being negligent, but it's pretty limited. Silvering really. And uh, it's a cracking little, uh, little spit. The only other, uh, 
possible minus points on this was uh, some of the weathering that I've done with the black oils could be possibly a little bit too dirty in the white areas but although that could just be the white that's showing it up you know because it's such a contrast but uh, I might just leave it as it is quite happy with it like that really yeah a dinky little number great fun to make and I'm really glad I used the uh, the secondary wing option <coughs> excuse me there guys so we'll get the canopy on some more photographs made and then we'll have another little uh, video of this little beauty for the green I mixed up my own kind of tropical green. I couldn't really find it. I didn't like the enamel version that with the original kit. It didn't look right to me. So I'm pretty pleased with that green that I mixed up. I call it tropical green. I think it works quite well. It was built up with a, quite a few layers. There's about three or four layers of uh, basically translucent acrylic washes that I've built up and then added the weathering onto it. So without me waffling on forever and ever the only the only um, minor kind of headache if you want to call it that was there were lots of tiny decals to go around this aircraft some you can't, are so small you can't even see them so you had to really focus in getting those on getting a little organized system going with your tweezers holding them in the water getting them out and uh, adhering them onto the model oh yeah the only other th the, the ones that did break up were there were four here for these gun ports which didn't work at all so I've had to paint that on I've hand painted those those four like red brown or rust brown around the gun ports there and with that I think we'll um, conclude this video and I will see you on the next one guys but thanks for watching and uh, like I say great little build if you can track one of these kits down um, especially for Spitfire fanatics add it to your collection add a nice bit of diversity to your collection because uh, it is quite an unusual one not that much information on them really okay guys thanks very much for listening and watching and uh, see you on the next video